everybody. Welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie is Cruise. Um, basically, it's set in the 1980s, I believe 1987, at least the summer of 87, um, where an, an Italian-American um, guy falls in love with a Jewish girl from Long Island. So I think it all takes place in New York. I have suspicion to believe it has to do with driving around or cruising. I don't know, but it's an 80s movie, or it's a movie... Not from the 80s, but depicted in the 80s, so interested in seeing that. The only name I recognize is Emily Ratajkowski. Seen her in a couple of different things. I always remember her from the movie Entourage. I used to love that show. Anyway, she was in the movie, not in the show. Who cares, right? I'll get into it a little bit, uh, see what it's all about. IMDb has it at a 5.0. I scrolled a little bit through the um, comments on what people were saying. And it's like, people love it, there's a 10, and then there's a 1. You know what I mean? So I didn't read any of the comments, because I don't like to do that ahead of time. But I like to see, like, is everybody giving it a 5? No. People either love it, or they hate it. So, we'll see where we end up, alright? So stick around, I'll give you a better idea of the synopsis, and we'll take it from there. I'll be back. Hey everybody, I'm going to do a quick check-in here. We're watching Cruise, we're at the 48-58 minute mark. Um, debated on whether I was going to check in at all, or just wait till the credits. But I thought it's worth checking in. So here's what, it's kind of what the synopsis says. Uh, we have this Gio. He's um, from New York, an Italian, American Italian guy. He's got two best friends who live a couple of doors down. They do the same thing all the time. They cruise, you know, the boulevard, um, hook up with girls, race cars, is essentially. And they steal radios. That's how they kind of make their money. They steal radios and sell them. That's basically what they do. Um, but it's an every night thing. They do the same thing all the time. In fact, the guy irons his white t-shirt and <laughs> wears a white t-shirt out every night. Very handsome fella. Um, but uh, then that's where um, Emily Ratajkowski, however, she comes into the picture. She um, is Jewish from, from another part of New York, I think um, Brooklyn, whatever. Um, but uh, not that any of that really matters. She pretends to be Italian initially when she meets him, but whatever. So he starts a relationship with her, um, and they're hanging out, and of course his friends don't like it. Very common in this kind of a movie. Friends are, don't think that, uh, you know, she's above him because, like, um, she has a lot of money. She goes to Brown University, and they feel that this is a summer fling for her, and he's going to get hurt, that kind of thing. But he's having a good time. Um, so that's very common, like I said, in these types of movies, um, just different, um, you know, different settings for this uh, romance or drama, whatever. Anyway, the cool things about it, it's set in the 80s, and I do remember, not that I was driving in the 80s, but uh, it was popular for a while, even after 1987, but cruising, really a, a big thing. I mean, I think cruising uh, was probably big in the 60s and the 70s and then in the 80s. Um, you know, if you saw Days and Confused, the 70s, but it was still popular. It's not that popular. I don't think they do that anymore. So it's neat to see that, uh, to come back a little bit. Um, seeing all the old cars from the 80s, the cars that were cool back then, the IROX, you know, and stuff like that. Fun. Okay music. Slightly disappointed. It didn't, it didn't start to catch on until a little bit into the film that I was like, oh, yeah, got to listen for the soundtrack. I was expecting a better one. Um, you know, New Order, um, uh, Madonna so far. So I thought it'd be, you know, a little bit different, but uh they got that going on. That's really it. We'll see where it goes from here. Um it's okay. Not not terrible, but nothing great or um you know original. So let me get back into it. Just wanted to catch you up real quick. Then I can brief you at the end on whether it's worth watching or not. Um and uh, that's it. See you at the credits. Hey everybody, we're at the credits of cruising. Um and there's not much else to tell about the movie. Uh, again, they start dating from different sides of the tracks, I guess you can say. He's from Queens, I figured that out, and she's from uh, Brooklyn, but um, her family is rich and his family isn't. Um, she's getting an education, he isn't, that kind of thing. Um, and it, it escalates, so like I said, he's stealing radios and she seems to like it, so they go out and they do it together one time. Um, as a date, but, you know, she kind of likes the things that he does because he's a bad boy kind of thing. So, um, it seems like their uh, relationship is starting to, um, fall apart or at least, 
Um, there's going to be a little bit of, she's going back to school soon, so it seems like they're breaking it off. So in an attempt to um, lure her back in, he says, let's go steal a car. And that creates some problems there when you go and steal a car. And, uh, you know, and so that adds a little flavor to the movie, which is a little bit different than what was uh, what we were watching before. Um, you know, so they threw that in there to, to add some excitement, and um, he's got to come through in the end. And it's all very kind of predictable. I mean, once they throw that, that twist in there, and I'm not going to tell you all about the twist, but once that happens, you kind of you, you pick it all up right there. You know how it's going to end. Um, you know, the, the big question, at least that piece of it, uh, the big question is, how do they end up together? I mean, she's going to Brown, which is in Rhode Island, and he's going to live in Queens, you know? So are they going to be together? Are they going to separate? Is it a summer fling? The question is on everybody's mind who's watching this right now. Well, I'm not going to tell you what happened. The movie, it was okay. It was fun for a little bit. Uh, they could have done a better job, as I mentioned, I think, with the soundtrack. Um, I think uh, they did a good job with the cars. Um... I'm not sure about the, the fashion. Um, I did notice that they didn't wear seat belts back in the 80s. Nobody did that. So, some cool parts about it that I did like. Um, some things they could have done better. Um, break dancing. Break dancing's in it. So, that's fun. Overall, I give it a five. Uh, it's a story told many times, many ways, different decades, uh, different sides of the tracks, kind of thing. So, nothing new. Um, but I think they could have capitalized a little bit more on the 80s stuff that they didn't do. That's it. That's all for me. I don't think there's anything else I need to tell you. We're giving it a five. But thanks for tuning in. Kimmel's Irish Pub.